Well, the Palm Springs International Comedy Festival kicked off last weekend. The Stanley Kramer Mad World Award was presented to the movie Book Club. Our Steve Summerall caught up with the late director's wife who reminisces about the classic comedy, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stanley Kramer. He was known for tackling serious social issues with films like The Defiant Ones and Inherit the Wind. So good luck and may the best man win! Right! Except you, lady. May you just drop dead! So, why did Stanley Kramer attempt to make a successful comedy? Because, as his wife Karen explains, somebody said that he couldn't. That's all you ever had to say to Stanley, that you couldn't do something, and he was going to prove you wrong. So, he decided to make the comedy to end all comedies. Who says this boy can't fly this old plane? There you go. Celebrating its 55th anniversary this year, Karen recalls the premiere of It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Although much of the Hollywood elite were in attendance, there was one noticeable cancellation. Well, a couple of days before the event, the White House called Stanley and said, we're terribly sorry, Mr. Kramer, but President Kennedy and Mrs. Kennedy, and something just came up. They're preparing to go to Dallas, Texas, and they can't attend. Well, of course, the assassination happened a few days later. And Mad World played at the Cinerama Dome for a year and a half. Billy Crystal often says to me, you know, Karen, your husband's film helped heal a nation. I'd like to think that is true. Steve Sumrall, NBC Palm Springs. Well, coming up next, Thanksgiving is just a week away. Can you believe it?